What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and create an Instagram business page for your business. So it's really quick, it's really easy, you can get it set up in under 5 minutes. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into my phone and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Alright guys, so we're inside Instagram and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can switch over your normal Instagram account over to a business Instagram account. So if you don't already have an Instagram account for your business, then signing up for one is pretty easy. You just get the app and finish the sign up process. Or if you already have a personal account, you can go up here to the menu in the top right, click on settings, and you can come down here to add account, and that will let you create an additional account. So once you've created your account, you wanna go ahead and go to the main screen of your Instagram and then click on edit profile. And then we're going to come down here and click on switch to professional account. So we're going to click that. And then right here we have to go ahead and select the category. So the creator category is more so if you're like an influencer or something like that. Or maybe you're a musician or an actor or anything like that. And the bottom category is going to apply to the majority of us. And this is if you are an actual business and you're creating the account for a business so like a small local business or an online e-commerce store anything like that so i'm going to go ahead and select business and move on so one of the main advantages of a business account is it's going to give you um, insights about our followers and we can see how our posts are performing and compare um, current posts to past posts based on performance so we can see um, what type of engagement we're getting and what type of content is performing better so we're going to click continue and now here we can go ahead and select the category so you want to select the category that's the closest to the type of business you have so for the sake of this example we have a coffee shop so i'm going to see if they have that in here and they do so i'm going to go ahead and select that and then click next So now we can go ahead and review our contact info. So if you're already putting contact info, it will auto populate here. And if you didn't, then you wanna go ahead and put in your public business info here. So if you're a local business, you'd put in your business address. And if you have a business phone number that um, is able to take calls, then you put that in and then you put in your business email and just be aware that this is public facing information so the information you put here um, everyone will be able to see on your profile and this is how people are going to be able to contact you via instagram so i'm going to go ahead and put in a google voice number here for the example so i can show you what these buttons are going to going to look like later and i'm not going to put in a address for the sake of this example and then i'm just going to click next so now this is where you would go ahead and connect a Facebook page. Now, if you haven't already created a Facebook business page, I would recommend going back and watching my previous video in the series, and it will show you how to set up your Facebook business page properly. So if you haven't done that already, I will link that video in the description. And if you have already created your Facebook business page, it's going to show up here assuming you were logged in with the same Facebook account that you created the page on now in this scenario I'm not because the Facebook account that I use for all my tutorials is a separate Facebook account so I am not logged in so the page we created in the last video is not going to show up here so due to that I'm just going to go ahead and click I'm not going to connect to Facebook now in this scenario however if you have already created your Facebook business page, then you'd wanna go ahead and link that right now. But I'm gonna click don't connect right now. And there we go, we've went ahead and upgraded to professional. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is X this out. And now you can see that our page looks a little bit different. We now have these additional buttons. So the first one we can see we have this contact button. So if I click on that, you can see that the business phone number we put in is available if somebody wants to give us a call and then the business email is down here so if I click on the email it will go ahead and open up an email to the email you put in 
and if I click on the call, it will go ahead and do the same thing. So that's pretty cool. So if you don't want to receive calls and you only want to receive emails, then you can go back in here to edit profile and you can go ahead and hide the phone number in contact options down here. Or if you want to only be contacted via phone and not email, then you can go ahead and just put in the phone number. Now, if you have both and you're available to do both, it's probably better to do both, but you definitely at least want one. And this is where if you hadn't created your Facebook page already and you went back to the previous video and did create it, then you can go ahead and connect that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main and show you the next tab, which is promotions. So this is where we can go ahead and create a promotion with some of our posts. So you can see here, if I click on promote top post, it's going to go ahead and want us to sign into our Facebook account because Facebook is where we go ahead and run ads. So Facebook and Instagram, obviously Facebook owns Instagram. So when you advertise on Instagram, you are advertising through Facebook's ad platform. So once you have your pages and accounts linked, then you can come in here and just create a promotion and you will be billed to your Facebook account. And if you don't have a Facebook business manager account yet, that's what I'm going to be showing you in the next video. So the last thing I want to show you here is if we come up here to the menu up top, we can click on insights. And then this is where we can go ahead and see data regarding how our audience is reacting with our post. So we can see how our content is performing, whether it's posts or stories or promotions. We can see activity and interactions with our content, and we can get different data and analytics about our audience right here. So that is it on how to go ahead and create an Instagram business page. It's pretty easy, but it's extremely helpful, and it's one of the many steps that you need to go ahead and get your business visible online. So in the next video, we're going to be getting into the Facebook Business Manager, where we can go ahead and add our business page and our Instagram business page all together in one hub and manage it all in one place. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.